Do you love massages? I love massages. Especially Why? Especially after a workout. It just really helps your muscles relax. relax. OT focuses on an individual with a physical or mental illness on becoming independent with everyday activities such as grooming, hygiene, bathing, dressing, and toileting. The role of an OT in ergonomics is to evaluate and make recommendations for a workstation improvement to increase performance and cut down on workplace injury. Ergonomics is a scientific study of human work, workspaces, and tasks. Small adjustments to workspaces and design, including use of ergonomic equipment, rolling chairs, footstools, document holders, and implementation of rest breaks and promotion of body mechanics can significantly reduce the risk of musculoskeletal disorders. Hi everyone, we are occupational therapy assistant students at Capulani Community College. My name is Carrie. Hi, my name is Drew. Hi, I'm Vanessa. So today we are at the fitness spa at Joint Base for Harvard and Company. We are about to head inside and talk to a real life registered massage therapist about her job and some ergonomic strategies she can implement right away to improve her work function and hopefully help her to prolong her career with just a few simple suggestions. So come on, let's go teach some ergonomics. Woohoo! This way! Um, looks like you need some pain. Um, I think we need to learn some ergonomic strategies, so let's take a look inside your room and see what we can do to help you. Sure. Well, well, well. No wonder you're in pain. I can already spot three things that need to be changed. First, I can notice the tabletop is too high. The rule of thumb, and no pun intended here, is to stand beside your table and the tabletop should be just at right at the right height it should be right at your fingertips this will prevent a lot of awkward motion and stress on your body so let's go ahead and lower this about here about there is good okay the second thing i noticed is there's no stool in here the stool is going to come in really handy when you're doing a head and, head and neck massage or when you're massaging the feet. Oh, here's one. Oh, I almost felt it got in the way. Sorry. Okay. So this will help me? This will help you uh, relieve stress on your back, at least most of the time when you're doing the head and neck and the feet. Yeah. And then the other thing you can do is uh, maybe have a padded mat on the ground, and this will relieve some stress on your feet. So, for proper body mechanics, you always want to keep your knees bent, and when you lean over the client, bend at the waist, not hunch over. So, and always try to work on one side, the same side of the body that you're standing on. Try not to reach over them, because that can cause back strain, but if you have to, just bend at the waist and bend your knees, okay? Um, and then another thing that you can do, um, we call it the archer stance. It's where you're, you have one foot in front of the other, like this. Both legs are bent, and this is good for like long strokes. So when you're doing massage like this, you're going all the way down from the shoulder to the lower body. You just want to bend the front leg and keep the back leg straight, and that'll prevent back strain too. Okay. Another ergonomic strategy that you can use is to alter your technique. So to save our hands, instead of using our fingers and hands for deep pressure, instead of using our hands all the time and digging in your thumbs, and that'll just prevent a lot of strain in your fingers and your IP joints. So what you can do is use your forearm, elbow, to apply pressure, deep pressure, in the palm of your hand. And then also lean into it with your body and demonstrate proper body appearance as you're doing it. Hi, Missy. So I got some assistive devices that may be useful with your work. So here's a pamphlet. 
and the first assistive device is called thumb savers and these are worn to provide direct and even pressure when minimizing the effort required by the therapist you to apply pressure for okay. clients and the second assistive device is called an acuforce so this is used for trigger point and deep tissue massages so this tool also reduces the strain in your thumbs wrists and elbows and the last one is called a theracane. So this allows you to reach any part of the body and apply pressure so you hit the right muscle where you need it. Okay. Those are all really good tips, gang. Thank you so much. Thank you. I'm going to make sure I do it in my practice. Okay, thank you. By creating a safer, more effective workplace, the company benefits from occupational therapy by cutting down on sick days taken, workers' compensation, and cutting down on workplace injuries, which add up to greater productivity, job performance, and longevity of the professional.